In 2017, Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, announced the launch of the nation's futuristic and fully automated city-state, Neom. The brainchild of the Crown Prince, the new city-state, named from a combination of the Greek word for new, Neo, and the first letter of the Arabic term for future, Mustakbal, Neom hopes to have its first pioneering residence by as early as 2024, with plans to eventually accommodate more than one million people. Join us today as we explore the city-state Neom in Saudi Arabia. Born from Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, to see the country develop into a model of excellence by 2030, the project is currently made up of three main components. First, the Neom Economic Hub. Second, the line, a 170 kilometer long urban development within Neom that will connect the Red Sea coastline with the mountains of northeast Saudi Arabia. And third, an eight sided floating port city within Neom called the Oxagon, which will be an industrial district home to the world's first automated port and logistics hub on the edge of the Red Sea. Neom was first announced in 2017 with an estimated operating budget of $500 billion. The company, owned by Saudi's Public Investment Fund, will aim to develop a one-of-a-kind economic hub covering nearly 25,000 square kilometers of desert, valleys, mountains, and coastline along Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coastline in northwest Saudi Arabia. The landmass will extend across the Egyptian and Jordanian borders, making it the first private zone in the world to span three countries. The AI-powered hub will be powered entirely using solar wind, green hydrogen, and other alternative means of energy production. Equipped with flying taxis, an artificial moon, and other emerging technologies, Neom aims to be the vision of what the future could be. Coined a living laboratory by its creators, Neom will consist of towns, cities, ports, research centers, entertainment and sports venues, and tourist destinations. It will aim to draw the brightest and the best professionals to the city to create a major commercial hub to rival Dubai in the UAE and Doha in Qatar. Neom is also aiming to tackle water scarcity issues and plans on using pioneering technology to create fresh water from seawater using sunlight. This process includes bringing in seawater through an enclosed aqueduct system, heating the water as it flows towards a desalinator. Mirrors then focus concentrated solar radiation onto the glass and steel structure, which subsequently heats the water, creating condensate. The pressurized freshwater condensate steam produced through this process is then discharged through outlets to various areas across Neom. In January 2021, the Crown Prince announced that a key part of the Neom City State, a zero-carbon city called The Line, would be constructed. The Crown Prince labeled the city project as a civilizational plan that puts humans first. The line will be crafted as a linear city for 1 million people, running 170 kilometers long with a width that would be walkable in five minutes. A city's usual amenities such as schools, hospitals, and gardens will all be within walking distance. Seeking to dispel any hesitations about the governance model that the line would follow, the entire Neom area, including the line, will be a free trade zone with its own tax structure and an autonomous legal system independent of Saudi Arabia's. The technological and environmental plans of the zero car, zero streets, and zero carbon emission city have drawn the most attention. Drawings of the line show the city infrastructure and services arranged in three distinct layers. The top layer above ground will be a pedestrian layer, supported by two underground layers. The layer immediately below ground will be the service layer of physical infrastructure. Further below the service layer will be a high-speed transportation system. This high-speed transit is being designed to take people anywhere in the city within 20 minutes. Robots will play a key role in the areas of security, logistics, home delivery, and provision of care. It is expected that city infrastructure will cost between $100 to $200 billion, with investments being drawn from the $500 billion allocated for Neom, the Public Investment Fund, and global investors. In November 2021, Neom announced its latest ambitious project within Neom, an eight-sided port city that will float on the Red Sea, called the Oxagon. The Oxagon will sit at the western edge of Neom, it will be the largest floating structure in the world and be home to the world's first fully automated port and integrated logistics hub. 
This industrial city will use the Internet of Things, AI, and robotics to create a seamless, intelligent, and efficient supply chain. As with the rest of Neom, the Oxagon will be a net zero city, powered entirely by clean energy. Although Neom has not disclosed the total cost of the Oxagon project or how it hopes to keep the city afloat, given how the Red Sea is one of the world's busiest trade routes, with 13% of all global trade passing through each year, Oxagon will certainly be a catalyst of economic growth and diversity in Neom. To date, Neom has been faced with delays and hit by an exodus of employees who are straining under the weight of the Prince's ambitious vision. While engineers are struggling with demands to blow holes a half mile long and 30 stories high in the side of a mountain to house a honeycomb of hotels and residences, they've also been given directives to construct 10 palaces, each bigger than a football field. At a recent board meeting, Prince Mohammed brushed aside urban planners who offered other, simpler plans for a pollution-free city, telling them to think bolder, saying that, I want to build my pyramids. There are currently more than 1,500 employees working and living on site, and while estimates peg the work at only 1-2% to complete to date, the construction work currently ongoing is perhaps the most difficult, essentially moving sand and mountains. Neom is also currently hiring for over 140 jobs, so if this is the type of mega project that excites you, you may want to throw your resume in the mix. What do you think about Neom, the line and the oxagon? Do you think these types of projects are realistic? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. We'll see you guys in the next one.